In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a blacksmith in Minecraft. If you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one so make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also if you're interested in the episode where I built this blacksmith I'll link it in the card above and also in the description. Anyway let's get into the tutorial. So first thing what we're going to do is just have a look at our materials list. Uh, so what I've got is the stripped spruce log, uh, also spruce stairs, a barrel, uh, spruce door, oak slab, spruce fence, spruce planks, and also some cobblestone. We're going to need a load of other materials, but this will do to start us off. Now, what I've got here is the actual rough shape. So if you guys do want to pause the screen and kind of get the rough shape that you wanted, it depends if you're going to be fitting it into a specific area. So you can kind of see where, um, where everything fits. We've got the main building is this part. Three blocks between these. So these bits of orange are three blocks. We've got a block. Three blocks in there, as you can see we've got one block there, onto the sides, and then from there we've got three blocks, then a block, two blocks, then a block, one block and a block, and then two, and going around. So it gets this very, you know, really quite an L shape, because uh, he actually also crafts stuff in this main area here, so that's the idea. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do first is we'll start in this corner to make it quite nice and easy again. You can kind of reference this shape. So we're going to go up with three blocks, one, two, and three. We're then going to go on the middle part here. We're going to have a barrel. So place your barrel down. Uh, we're going to leave this gap here. We're actually going to put in a door. So we can actually put the door in this side. Um, for me, I had a dirt path. So I had dirt block underneath this. But obviously we're in the middle of nowhere. So I'm just going to leave it. And we're then going to have a barrel. Then three blocks going up. One, two, and three like that. And then what we're going to do on each of these is we're just going to go up. So this is where we get the apex of the actual building itself. So for these bits, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair, upside down spruce stair like that. Then what we're going to do is right in the top, we can have a barrel. And then we're going to have three blocks of spruce planks going across the top here. Just make sure you sneak and click when you click the barrel, otherwise you'll open it up or click the block right next to it like that. So now grab your spruce fence. We're going to have two pieces of spruce fence here. And again, do your, your cheaty clicky thingy um, and just have two of, them, two of them going up like that. We're going to have an oak slab on top, and then one above it, and then one there like that, just to make this nice little kind of entrance part of it, uh, just like that. Simple. So coming around to either of these two sides, we're going to go up with three blocks, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and then we're going to do the same going up here as well. We're going to build a proper frame with this one, like that, and then again, three block gap, and then one, two, three, and up, and then like that. And you'd think it's the same on the back, but it's not. We're just going to have two blocks like this on the back piece. So what we get is this, you know, three block gap here, three block gap here, and then a one block gap. And this is where we've got like, it's basically a little extension that's been added to the build over time. That's the idea of it, at least. So it's uh, kind of like super duper and simple and things. We're now going to do the fireplace because it's easier to do it uh, before we put all the roof on and yeah, just make it a lot, a lot simpler. Um, you can kind of put it in any of these 3x3 gaps, but I would recommend doing it in this one just so that you kind of like go through the entrance hall and then you've got it back here just in case you do build like your bedroom here. But you could, there's no reason why you couldn't have it on uh, this kind of wall here. So grab some stone bricks and we're going to go and delete these three here. Yeah, that's right, we're going to get rid of some blocks. And put three blocks up on this bit like that. One, two, and three like that. Then what we're going to do is we'll get rid of our spruce fence for now. We're going to grab our, here we go, stone brick stairs. And just on this piece, we're going to go upside down, upside down like that. Behind this, put another three blocks in. Another three blocks in behind that. And it's up to you what you want to do uh, with this piece. For me, I put three blocks going across the top. And then I put in a grinder. And I'll see, show you guys what this kind of like looks like. So you get a grinder in like, uh, not in like that, um, like that. So it's touching the top of it. And then I decided to put in a cauldron. So where's the cauldron? There it is. So this was just so that we actually had something above the fire. Uh, and then put in some iron bars underneath that. So you get like a really quite nice fireplace with a cauldron. Uh, that looks like it's kind of hanging from it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but that's the kind of like simple part of this bit. So from the back what we're going to do, if you grab your spruce stairs, just on this little kind of extra bit that we've got, we're going to do a st uh, normal stair there and then an upside down stair like that. It just gives it a bit of depth. And the same on the back as well. And you'd think it's on this side, but it's not. 
So don't do anything on that side, but at least we've got that all done. What we're then going to do is kind of build this up a little bit. So we're going to have, if you grab your stone brick, sta uh, stone brick again, three blocks here and another three blocks like that. And then just in the middle, put a block of your stairs. You can do a stair on either side of this. And this is where we can start to play around with things. We'll leave this side because we're going to uh, kind of mesh this in with some cobblestone in a second. Um, we'll get that there. And just on top of this one, we're going to have a stair. Also going to have a stair in here. So this one, we can either put it in that way. Let's put it in that way for now. And we can do a similar thing here where we also put that one in that way. And then just have a stair in this side. And then what we'll do is probably put a block on, I think. Yeah, let's put a block on top. I'm going to grab a stone brick slab and just put this on top of these ones. So it ends up giving us this kind of... It almost looks um, kind of Nordic in its kind of uh, shape with those ones. I'm sure we'll replace some of these blocks as well later on. I think we can replace this one. I think we can replace this one. So actually, you'll need that central block there uh, and you won't be able to tell anything else. So if we go onto the inside now, what we're going to do is we're just going to do upside down spruce stairs going from these ones. It'll just kind of join everything up a little bit better. Whoop, bit of lag. Um, so just join those together like that. Just like that there. Um, now it's up to you if you want to do spruce planks going between these ones or if you want to do the stripped spruce log. Um, so that's what that looks like and that's what that looks like. I, for some reason, always prefer this one. I don't know why. Uh, I think it just looks kind of like quite tidy, like they've actually gone into the ceiling and tidied everything up uh, and just made it look quite nice. Um, but that then, at least we've got the inside part of it and you can put lanterns on each of these if you wanted to. Uh, obviously, when you light your fire up, you'll get quite a lot of light from there. Uh, anyway, so what we'll do now is we're going to go do a bit of roof. So we need oak slab, oak stair. Uh, we also need the same with birch. So it's up to you. Um, as if you've been doing the, the kind of like other builds from this one, you can use a hay bale. Uh, I just don't like the color of the hay bale at all. I just think it looks uh, horrendous. It's just super yellow. Um, but that's the idea that we would be doing with this if it was normal. Whoops, didn't mean to knock that one out. Put that one back in. So I'm going to be using birch stairs instead, uh, just with nice, quite simple techniques. So we're just going to put stairs on top of this here. And do it, only do it on this side, don't do it on the next side. Uh, not quite yet. So we're going to get them like that. Uh, on the front of this one here, what we're going to do is we're going to have stairs, and an upside down stair, stair, and stair. And you can do this, just this little bit here. Now, because of the style that I've been going for, I've been using normal stairs going across like that to kind of give it a bit of style. And then we'll put just a couple slabs in there. And then we'll get onto this bit, which is going to be using some cobblestone. So we've got cobblestone and we've got slabs and we've got stairs as well. So with this style, what um, I've been doing, if you've done the house and also the kind of, actually the mining camp doesn't have it. The house is the only one I've got up at the minute, but there'll be more. Um, pretty much going to be layering, layering around this with some cobblestone. So the idea is that we end up creating an extra block from the inside because we've got um, we've not got like a wall on this side. So traditional, you would probably go for like a wall on here and you'd end up with quite a small interior. Uh, but with this, we've kind of got stacked stones. That's the idea uh, on the side of it. Um, they're not stacked like that. That's not really stacked. It's just kind of shoved there. Um, yeah, the idea being stacked stones are around uh, to kind of give it a bit, bit of, well, just something different really. It's just giving it something different. So I might have something like that. We have maybe a stair there, maybe a slab down there. Uh, and probably not even there, like that. So then with our oak slabs, if we have to go over, we go over. And then if we go can go normal, we will go normal like that. And you'll get a gap on the inside, so we just go in with our cobblestone stairs and just kind of fill that in like that. And it, it gives it like a really quite a big kind of open area and you get this extra two block, uh, well, three blocks on this side uh, for it, which I quite like. We can also do the same on this side as well because this one's not going to be touched by the stuff that is going to be going on over there. Um, I, mean, I don't want to go any further, just in case we need to do any edits, so I'm going to try and save everything. So we'll go for here. Uh, try and get it at least to either the block level. We've got it up here, so we're just going to have these three stone um, stairs there. You can do it where, if you did have it quite low down, say this one only went down to here. 
uh, you could have it where you have a block and then a stair like that. That doesn't look too bad for this build though because it's so small. Uh, I would definitely recommend just you know building it up a little bit more uh, and having it kind of from there instead. So that to me I think it looks better but it's totally up to you. Whatever you think. There we go. Let's have that in there. And what we can do as well for this side because this doesn't get touched is just build it up to here as well with the stairs and also with your slab as well. So we have that there. That one goes up. That one goes down. Just like that. So nice and simple. And across the top we're just going to have these going across here. Don't put one on top of there, you don't need it. Unless you want to, you can of course do your usual uh, you know, flicks and whatever else you want to do. It's totally up to you, but I just went with it's kind of quite rounded um, kind of shape because it's got some star with it already. Um, anyway, let's continue on. So moving on to the next part of it, what we're going to do is grab some stone brick again and we're going to build the kind of like forge the furnace part of it. So just next to this block here where we've got that two, we're going to have three blocks of uh, stone brick going across the back piece here and then another there. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three like that. Uh, if we grab some stone brick stairs, wherever I've got those, let's find them. There we go, stone brick stairs. What we're going to do around here is we're just going to bend this around like that. So we just get this nice like, uh, well it just looks cool, it's like a shelfy thing. Um, and then we can put in, you know, your black concrete powder, your uh, well, whatever really. It depends what you want for looking like um, like coals and things like that. So you can use, of course, block of coal. Uh, I just always think that, personally, between the two, I think that looks more like kind of ashes and things like that than the, uh, than the block of coal does. So we'll have that in there like that. Uh, we're also going to grab... Look okay, we've got all these materials. Uh, we're also going to grab some um, iron bars. And just on the side here, we're just going to place a block on here. Just go around the back like that. Put an iron bar there, an iron bar there, so we've got this kind of area here. You can set that on fire if you've got fire off. Uh, you can also, if you want to drop that in a block and put a fire, uh, a campfire in. Is it a campfire? I'm not sure it's called campfire. Yeah, if you want to put a campfire in there, you can, and then you can get the smoke coming up. Um, and of course, you can put a hay bale, hay bale underneath it to make even more smoke come out if you want to make it look like it's really intense. Um, totally up to you again, as normal. So there we go, we got that. Uh, we're just going to build another blocks around here like that. Then all we're going to do for the next piece is right on the sides here. We're just going to have one, two, and three. So this is going to be, if you're counting it, one, two, three, four, five blocks, and then a block. So we're going to have three blocks going up, two blocks on the side here, and just between these two, we're just going to put in some cobblestone like that. Then what we're going to do is right here, right in front of it. Um, so if you want to go diagonally from this, you can do. We're just going to go up with one, two of your cobblestone, uh, not cobblestone. So used to saying cobblestone with this, stone brick wall. Um, and then two block gap and then have the same here like that. So that's what we get for those kind of like little side bits. Um, what we're going to do across these two now is we're going to do something similar to where we were creating space with these stairs. We're going to do the same thing. So across the top here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five like that. And then behind this, we can then start building in our kind of wall that's been extended to make it look like it's um, you know, got some extra bits on it and all that kind of stuff. Um, totally up to you how you want to do it, but you know, might have that, might have that, and um, might just have that. Maybe a stair and a slab or something. There we go. Make a pile of things. Maybe we just have that and then have a stair. Yeah. Something like that will do. Um, so it just kind of like gives you this extra bit of space. Uh, what I did with this extra bit of space, and it's up to you guys if you want to do the same, is grab... There we go. Almost lost it. Um, an anvil. And I ended up putting my anvil just on here. Uh, now because we can now put item frames down with an item, I ended up, for mine anyway, I had, you know, maybe we're going to go with... Uh, Iron pick or something. I think I had a, a iron hoe on mine, but you can then put that on there and rotate it or whatever. Um, also had the campfire just next to it, so like there, um, and splash that out because I didn't want any any water, uh, any of the fire actually coming out of it. Oops. There you go. Get it eventually. And also, what I did on the side here is built a quench, kind of like a basically a tray to quench blades, so it's to rapidly cool it down. So if you grab your water bucket, bucket and 
I did it on this side. Of course, put some better materials on the underneath it, but this will do. And just put that in here. So we actually had some water just on the side there. So, you know, you could then put it in the forge here. So if we had the campfire, you know, you can drop that down. That's what I was saying about earlier. So they'd be able to put it into the hot, you know, heat here, maybe hammer it, maybe then quench it. So you kind of get that uh, nice and close. And the thing is, because this is all kind of under cover as well, um, well, you're not going to get wet, which is uh, really quite good. So nice and easy for that. So what we're going to do next is clear down these. Going to get onto the roof stuff. So we've got oak slab, oak stair. We've also got our birch uh, stairs as well. And also going to grab a couple of bits like the birch slab and also birch block maybe. I'm not really too sure if we'll need it or not. Uh, we'll find out. We're also going to extend this wall now. So we can now extend this wall right here to this edge and do the same thing here. So there we go. Put these stairs in. I have to run outside. I'm just going to connect this all up. And have we got any slabs there? There we go, it's a slab. So let's go with, I don't know, block here. Maybe do another slab there and just have a block. I don't know. Something like that will do. You can end up, you know, doing all your stuff here where it's kind of collapsed down or there's just stones that have been put against it. And of course, we'll go into variation and things like that later on as well. Uh, if you're interested in doing that kind of thing. Right, so next thing. What we're going to do is we're going to have a like things like stairs on here. So we're going to try and create a little arch. So we're going to have uh, all of this on the lower level. So I'll try and, try and explain it first. And then this part here goes up on the upper level and then goes down again. That's the, that's the kind of general uh, shape of it. So it's, it's kind of really simple. Um, but what we can do is we can, of course, put in things like stairs here. We can put in a stair going that way to try and make the arch look a little bit more interesting, just so that you, when you look at it, you kind of get a bit more interest in it. Um, and then we're just going to go up on this side, so we'll go out to the side and go up as well. Then we go up again, and then finally we go up one more time from what I remember. Yep, so go up one more as well. So I just had to quickly check on my reference pictures. Uh, and then finally we go down, so we actually go down onto this piece here and just have this going across the back. And we'll join all this up in a second as well. So that's the kind of rough pattern that we actually get. We can now put in a cobblestone block here. And now this is interesting. I can't remember what I did on there here. I think I just put in some birch planks going across the back. Though not all of it, not on, onto this piece yet. We'll get onto this. Um, actually, we'll get onto this now. Um, so we'll put in a stone brick here, a stone brick here, on top of this one, and on top of this one, and then just bring that up. So we get something that looks like that. Uh, we can actually cut into this one because this one you can't see from any other side. So we might as well do that. We can then bring this roof across. And if we bring this onto here, that one go up, that one go down. That goes into here. Maybe we're going to go with a stair on this piece. Yeah, why not? And all there, maybe. Let's do a stair into there. So we're trying to like hide things, really. This. And we're putting some slabs there, so then it all kind of like looks all right. Uh, and then we'll have our birch slabs going across here, but. Again, we're going to start messing these up a little bit, so can't really do it on that level, but we can raise this and we can have stairs here, perhaps doing across the sides, maybe having one going on the side there. Um, I don't really want to drop any of these because it's already quite kind of down. Um, let's put in a birch block for that piece, so at least hides all that and closes that all up. Um, doesn't actually look too bad. Doesn't look too bad at all. So for this one, maybe we go for stair that. No, we don't want to stay that way. We do anything here where we wrap it. There we go, look at that. Cool. Obviously we don't want these blocks in here. I don't think we want that one. No, that's the one we needed. Okay. Right, there we go. Leave that one in there. Um, yeah, so just play around with the roof a little bit. You can then, obviously as well, on this side, chip it out of the uh, back part of it as well. But that gives us this nice little area in here. So what I did on mine is I continued this wall on. Uh, and I just kind of like had it come in kind of at an angle like this and put in a very, very basic grindstone. So I actually used the grindstone for what it's used for. Uh, put in a slab as well for them to sit on, something like the jungle slab. And also kind of like a back of it. So we might have had like here have a grindstone, uh, typical kind of <laughs> Skyrim-esque kind of thing where they're grinding things there. Uh, and then 
course, also rough up this wall a bit as well. If you're going to do a wall, uh, so you can have it, you know, coming up or whatever. Uh, and maybe you'll have it even going down as well, like that. So let's just build this in here. So you might do something like that there. You know, it's totally up to you what you want to do with it. I'll show you mine at the end, so if you want any ideas, then that might help you. Right then, so let's go on to the next bit. So really, it's just the finishing touches. So we've got, or um, well, we're going to need some um, stone brick stairs, and also the stone brick slab again. We we'll grab those two. Uh, what we'll do here is we're just going to have the stair in here. Oh, I've missed out a block here. Oh, that's not good at all. Let's put in a let's put in a stair on that side like that, um, and we're just going to do exactly the same pattern where we had this. You know, stairs on here, have those bits going onto that bit, and I'm going to have this block go up, so it's kind of leaning backwards as you look at it to get the same kind of stars this one here. So we can, of course, see the campfire uh, smoke is coming out of it, at least through this one. Right, the back piece here. What we're we going to do? Grab your barrel, and what else are we going to need? We're going to need, um, yeah, this oak slab and oak stair as well. I'm probably also going to need. Birch slab and probably birch stair as well. Have a look. So what we're going to do here, we're going to have the barrel on the top. We're going to build the roof like normal. So we're going to have the upside down here and have the oaks going down the side here. And also put in your uh, oak slab on the side there. Same on these ones. So we have these bits here. Uh, we're also going to have these going in like normal. Then for this bit, we're just going to have on top of this your birch slabs and then we're going to have these going underneath like that and then just on the outside we're going to actually have some oak uh, slabs going all around the side here we can even have it where we cut it off on this side and we just have this showing uh, or we can actually have it going up as well actually up looks pretty good uh, and also joins up a bit that's what I've done and just not realized it also if you want to uh, kind of bring it over you can do uh, as well as if you wanted to you know, build this kind of back piece of it up as well. But for free to do that, or you can even have it going in like there where it kind of mixes a little bit. Um, totally up to you guys. Let's just put in a little bit more variation. So maybe like this one here, we're gonna just kind of a uh, stair going in there. We do the same. Do a similar thing to what we did before. We have you know some blocks in there. Put that in there like that. And uh, maybe even there as well. Do something that looks like that. But totally up to you guys what you actually want to do with it. Just kind of variate it a little bit. So that looks pretty cool, actually. There we go. So at least when we go onto the inside, we can see that. We've got this kind of like little alcove where you can put whatever you want. <laughs> it's totally up to you. Um, and we've got the actual living quarters. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than it looks from the outside, I think, anyway. Because of these bits here and the overhang. So what we'll do now, guys, is... Um, if you are done with it and you're going to be doing your own interior, then good luck and make sure to tweet it out to me or share it on Discord. Um, but if not, I'm going to be jumping into my world and I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tour of my interior so you can get some ideas. So here we are in Clipped Off. So um, yeah, this is the blacksmith that I've actually got. As you can see, all the all the outside uh, kind of uh, details are the same. Uh, the way that I situated mine was pretty much near the uh, entrance of the town, actually, so pretty close to it. Uh, and it's on the main street that goes to the castle, so it's kind of uh, quite central. Um, so I decided to go with that. I've got the kind of smithing sign on the side here. Um, for mine, there's just an extra bit of detail I forgot about, which is just having a bench to hammer. This is totally Skyrim inspired of, you know, well, they've got to have an anvil, they've got to have a forge and a quench, and they've got to have a grindstone, and they've got to have a place to hammer armor. So I kind of uh, put that in there just using the polished andesite, so it's up to you. And also... Um, they got a bit of metal plate, so they're probably making some armor, so it's the iron uh, pressure plate there. Uh, so apart from that, it's pretty much exactly the same. I went with quite a messy kind of ground. Um, the path for my main town is dirt, so uh, I actually wanted to transition this into more stones. So we've got lots of gravel, andesite, and normal stone. Uh, and it just kind of like mixes in with the coarse dirt and uh, brown concrete as well. Uh, concrete powder, not concrete. Concrete powder, yeah. So that's what we've got on there, um, but apart from that, it's pretty much exactly the same. Well, it's the exact same. Just a couple stones around as these buttons. Um, there isn't anything else on the outside of it at all. It's exactly the same. And yeah, I think the only thing I did is I brought down a stair on this side just to kind of make it uh, meld in perhaps a little bit better. I don't know. It's one of those. So on the interior side, what we've got, as I said, I have that dirt block underneath it. 
we then come into this kind of area here. I did put a window in if you want to. Uh, these are quite nice actually to do. If you've got a, a slab with the, with the kind of uh, way that we did it, um, uh, with the, the cobblestone, you can then just put in a uh, wooden trapdoor, so the oak trapdoor, and you get a nice little window actually, it's quite nice. Uh, with this one, I brought it down, like I was saying, you can do that. I have done it on some of this, I guess. Uh, just not on this side, so as every other side. Um, small little uh, area for having some ale, and a little ale cup there, little thing there, some little chest for things to be stored. Uh, lantern above it. Um, I have separated this out as well, so we've got uh, a couple different places. So the idea is that the, uh, the blacksmith lives here, and also his apprentice does, so he's got an apprentice. Uh, it's quite common, so he's, the apprentice just lives in here with a couple of little shelves and a bed. That's it, like real basic uh, kind of things in here. Then in the main area in this bit, we've got the main bedroom. Uh, because it's quite cramped, it's you know quite small, but this is where the main heat is. So of course they're nice and warm in their double bed. You know the blacksmith and his um, his wife. Uh, in this little alcove, I just end up putting you know places for firewood and also a little sitting area here with a rug. But generally, it's a really, really simple little house because uh, there's not too much room. And I put in three different uh, three uh, campfires in here. And uh, of course, we've got some. Apparently, we did put down the block of coal, even though I prefer the black concrete powder now. I guess when I built it, it was a bit different times. And that just then goes up into there. So it's nice and simple, really basic. But um, yeah, tell me what you guys think. And uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.